G'day all, Michael from E-Cigarettes Australia uh, here with another video. This one we're having a look at uh, our DNA 30 watt uh, clone. Uh, <clears throat> if you know your mods, uh, you'll know this is a direct one-to-one -one copy of a Hannah Mods clone, which is just a aluminium box mod. Uh, Hannah Mods you just <clears throat> cannot get because they're just not available uh, also three times the price of these ones uh, I've had them in for about six weeks and been using them I've been using one unit for six weeks and uh, yeah they just work great uh, available in four colors as you can see black blue red and silver uh, we'll go over what's what's in it uh, we'll have a look at the silver one. So as you can see by the screen, I've just been playing with this one. Oh, actually, what's the red one look like? Ah, we'll go to the black one. We'll have a look at this black one. So you do get a manual. Uh, all in English. Tells you what it, how all the functions work. Uh, and it is a, a reasonably good manual as well. Uh, you do get a little screwdriver, that's for taking the battery out. Um, some of the kits I've noticed haven't had this screwdriver in that. That's why it's not marked on the website as part of the kit, but it may have or may not. But it's just a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little fiddly one, that one. I just use my own little Phillips head. I'm sure everybody would have one of them lying around somewhere. Uh, and you get the charging cable because it is pass through. There's your USB socket there. <clears throat> I don't think it's really meant to be a pass through like vape as you're charging, but you can. Um, <clears throat> it's just a standard, uh, I think they're just called a mini USB socket. Uh, my Samsung phone charger charges it so you can use anything, but you do get one in the kit. Uh, <clears throat> only a 510 connection. So if you wanted to run uh, an Ego connection, you would need to buy one of our 510 Ego adapters if you wanted to run an Ego connected uh, clearamizer. But as you can see by the size, this unit's really meant for the, the larger style clearamizers. But you can run anything on it with one of them adapters. Uh, you have a screen. That's your screen, I'll go over that in a sec. That's your, your power buttons here. They're nice clicky buttons on, I've had no trouble. Like I've, I really love this mod, that's all I'm using at the moment and I've had absolutely no trouble. These are your up and down buttons to change your wattage and there's also a couple of functions it does do. Uh, <coughs> goes from 30 watts up to 30 watts there, that's the highest it goes, uh, down to 7 watts and in 0.1 increments. Starts off slow if you press the button and then speeds up. As you can see there, we'll go right down to 7 watts. And that's as far as it goes. It doesn't round robin back to 30. You have to go back up through it if you want to run it at 30 watts. Uh, also has, <clears throat> it's only a wattage device, but it does tell you what volts you're running at in the bottom there, which I'll show you shortly when I connect a clearamizer. Uh, also tells you the ohmage of your coil, what, of what coil you're running in your clearamizer, and it's got your battery indicator on the side there, as you can see, that battery in there is about a little bit over half, or around the halfway mark. Now one of the important features, <clears throat> you can only take the battery out with that screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver that's supplied or not. Um, and the main <coughs> issue I want to go over with these is that if you install the battery upside down, it will fry the circuit board <coughs> and your mod will be useless, it just won't work. So the battery must be installed correctly and take the battery out and 
you can probably maybe pick that up. It does have the positive and negative clearly marked there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all, all your circuitry and circuit boards behind this Perspex screen here. Um, that's got a couple of stick, stickers holding it. Um, look, if you, if you have any problems with these, we'll certainly warranty them. But if, if the stickers are broke, we won't warranty them. And we won't warranty against putting the battery in upside down. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Uh, that's the main <coughs> deal with the pass-through. That's so you don't have to take the battery out all the time. Uh, so when you're installing a new battery or, or changing a battery, make sure you do put it in the correct way. Uh, it does come with a battery, um, but it's just uh, uh, supplied by the manufacturer. Uh, this one's just a 1500 mAh battery. I would uh, highly recommend getting one of our EFES 3100s uh, because they will last a day plus. Uh, usually a day and a half but, but what I've been doing is I don't even take the battery out put it in there use it for the whole day uh, no problems it'll definitely last the whole day and then I just plug it in at night and it's ready to go the next day for another whole day so I don't have to take the battery out so it avoids um, the, making the mistake of putting it in upside down so all of our 18650 batteries will fit this unit. Uh, they're all the same size. They'll all fit. I've tested them all. They all fit. They all work. Uh, this cover only goes on one way because it's slotted out. But it will not go on the other way. So you can't put it on backwards. And this is the way I intend on running it. Um, I don't want to be unscrewing and screwing these screws in every day to, or every day and a half to take the battery out to recharge it. Uh, that way you don't run the risk of uh, buggering the threads on these screws either. And they don't have to be super tight, it's just nipped up. <clears throat> uh, like I said, it's an aluminium box mod. Nice and light, very light. Fits in, fits in your hand just just nice. Uh, you can lock the screen, uh, so yeah, let's see, you can see that's on seven watts. Put it around the right way on seven watts to lock it. You hold the up and down buttons on, I think for two seconds, and then it's locked. And then if you try to change the voltage, it won't move. So you can lock your voltage to avoid moving it by accident. You can also turn that screen off entirely. Uh, how do they, that's in the manual. I think it's the I think it's the power and and the negative or the down button. Uh, but it's in there. Uh, <clears throat> you can also flip that screen around so so it's up the other way if, if maybe that's the way you you prefer it. Uh, to unlock it, same deal. Hold it for hold the power and or well, the up and down button a couple of seconds and it goes back to normal mode. Uh, <clears throat> the screen is on all the time when you're using it, uh, unless you switch it off, which you can do. Like it's, I mentioned before, uh, the screen does go to sleep after. I'm not sure. I think it's one minute. <coughs> so it will go off. Uh, then you just need to click a button to uh, bring the screen back on, and then you can. And you can vape with it as, as normal when it goes goes to sleep. Um, there's not really much more to them. Um, they're a really nice quality mod. It's actually all, all I'm using. <clears throat> I don't feel the need to use anything else. To you. They really do pump the power out nice. Um, <clears throat> you know, I rarely run it over 15 watts. I have got, uh, these are our new Kanga Aero Tank uh, Megas. Uh, clear amizers and these are really great as well I actually I've got a 0.8 coil in here which I can run up to 20 watts um, we don't have the 0.8 co coils for sale I just got a couple of packets in to test them uh, they may be for sale at some stage but not at the moment uh, yeah so I can run these up to 20 watts uh, even a little bit higher if I wanted to um, but 
I'm, I'm just running it at about 13 or 14 watts at the moment so I'll just give you an idea of vapour production uh, Two, that'll do. Just give this a quick uh, toot and show you what it produces. Yeah, best uh, best vapor production. You can really make some clouds with with this. <coughs> um, it's probably not all to do with the mod, this this tank's uh, pretty good as well, but um, yeah, <clears throat> nah. a very nice little mod, as you can see, fits in, I haven't got big hands, they're just standard size hands, uh, it just fits uh, really nice in the palm of, your, palm of your hand, and very light, like I said. So there you have it, the DNA 30 watt mod, available in black, red, blue, or silver and if you do buy one do yourself a favor and get one of these uh, mega tanks they're just great anyhow that's it for this video thanks for watching